Hi. If you read some Clojure documentation, you probably know that Clojure is a JVM hosted language. But if you are new to Clojure, or maybe you didn't have a lot of experience with Java before, you may be wondering what does it mean to be a JVM hosted language. And to answer this question, let's take a look at how Java compilation process looks like. Here's our diagram of Java compilation process. Java is cross-platform. And like many other compilers, Java compiler doesn't produce platform-dependent machine code. Instead, it produces cross-platform Java bytecode. This is a special format. And different Java compilers on different platforms for the same application will produce pretty much the same Java bytecode. And this bytecode is intended to be consumed by Java Virtual Machine or JVM. Java Virtual Machine is a piece of software that takes Java bytecode, do some kind of internal magic, and produces platform-dependent machine code, and invokes it on a target platform. This is where Java cross-platform mobility comes from. There are different implementations of JVM for different platforms, and every implementation knows how to turn cross-platform bytecode into a machine code for this particular platform. This architecture significantly simplifies compiler development. For example, Java compiler doesn't need to know about any platform-dependent stuff. All it needs to know is to how to generate Java bytecode. And another bonus of this architecture is that you are not really locked into Java language. You can create own compiler for own language, and as long as it is able to produce bytecode, it can be run by JVM on any platform where JVM supported. And that language will be a JVM hosted. And this is exactly how Clojure compiler works. Let's take a look at the diagram. Clojure compiler takes Clojure source code and turns it into Java bytecode that is runnable on JVM, on any platforms where JVM supported. This is why Clojure is a JVM hosted language. My name is Volodymyr. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. See you!